Phoenix just got a rework and those changes made him S tier and ranked. So if you want to learn how to carry your team, stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're so close to 100k. Thank you so much. This is a game where I go 29 and 12 with a 40% headshot rating. And you guys already know, I'm going to round it up for the clickbait. Game is game. Anyways, my pistol on Phoenix varies drastically, but you can almost never go wrong with two flashes and a ghost. This pistol round doesn't really go our way though. We take an L from them trying to split cat, but they end up successfully pivoting towards B instead. It's just one round, an important takeaway that we can take from it is that these guys like to play slow and they like to work mid. Keep that in mind because that's going to be useful in the future. The next round, run a save by, so it's not really important. But again, they played it hella slow. They showed early A presence, but after we take out one of their guys, they weren't afraid to just fully reset and cancel. They toss smokes on B, but they end up doubling back towards A for the double fake. They're playing it pretty proper. Double controller too, so they can really just like smoke shit for fun. Yeah, we, we can't over rotate. So, so far, we established that this Cypher loves lurking mid. This round, he took out my Soba. And on the second round, he took me out. So, I want to challenge him because we don't want this guy having free reign on the entire middle of the map. I'm not leaving. I just, I smoked your man, but that's it. Jack Dash? After I shut down this Cypher, they end up having to commit towards A main, and my team perfectly repels them. So we completely shut down their bonus round, finally getting a round on the board. Go mid this round, Cornball. That up right now. You want me to like, just like, sit here and hold? What do you want me to do? Just look for first bloods. I, what I did last round is I held for the tiles guy, so watch out. You can do it a little okay. bit later, you can do, you can hold for the top mid guy, just watch out. They might just wide swing if you try to hold this guy. I was just gonna go on cat and just try to wait till they'll see what you do, and then bite off that. They do have a lot of smokes for mid, so they probably just keep smoking cat. Oh wait, they did a bad one. So, spoiler alert, this round is the ace round that we saw earlier. And that back and forth that you just heard between my jet and I is extremely important. Keep that in mind because we're gonna go in depth very soon. Probably just keep smoking cat. Oh wait, they did a bad one. Oh, what 16 on jet? I did think her. Fuck. Nice. One more tiles? Left side? Nice. Wait, this is my ace. This is my ace. You may have seen the opening montage and been like, wow, all you need is aim. But it's not that simple. There's a lot that went into building up that ace. Starting with communication and getting on the same page with my jet. He's going to be playing this courtyard middle area, which is going to be way better for him because he's playing jet and he can get away and stay alive way better than I could on Phoenix. But before anything else, I let him know that I was just there the last round. I tell him exactly what went down, what I did, and who I did it to. That's because I don't want him getting caught with his pants down by the other team who could be trying to counter the aggression that I just showed the last round. If I don't give this guy a heads up, they can cook up a crazy plan to hard counter that middle peak. But now since he's aware, he can plan accordingly. Communication like this is honestly what separates your average, cracked, ranked aimers from the top radiant dudes. Team play is an extremely undervalued skill that people in ranked massively neglect. If you want to be anywhere near the top guys, you gotta learn how to play off your team. And that's what I'm cooking up here. Since they do have two controllers, taking control of the middle of the map is going to be a strong suit for them. A super standard smoke is going to be right here on this catwalk. With that in mind, since I just shut down the guy over here in this courtyard area towards tiles, I'm expecting that they're going to smoke off cat in hopes of isolating that bottom mid area. You see what's going on? I'm pretty much countering their possible counter here. The plan is for my jet to be over here and do some jet things and get their attention or in Valorant terms, get first contact. Then I plan on flashing out the smoke and going sicko mode. You see good aim while I see even better preparation. How come A? You one way from me, Moss? Yeah. So if you remember, for two rounds in a row, they got A main control and then worked from there. So since it was working for them, this round I want to further stamp the point that working the map isn't going to be so easy. Dude, I'm going to just fight straight up and deny. He's jumping up top. One there. Running. Yeah. Like tiles. Oh, they made it through. Flashing. One's on the left. Yeah. I'm going to kill Starting over? I got this fucking orb. Got my ult. Dude, left side. Bit of a psycho play, definitely showing zero respect, but that's what you need when you're playing a duelist. My goal is to strike in so much fear that it forces them to use utility early to try to push me off. I'm gonna go aim in this round without. For the next round, I'm gonna be honest, I was AFK and spawn. 
That's B. I'm coming. So luckily B and AFK turned out in my favor because I end up rushing B and I could quickly rotate. Here I'm more than happy to fight and hold the smokes because they don't have any flashes. I also have two teammates towards B and we have Cypher utility set up here so I'm more than confident. I'm walling off the red side right here just to try to isolate and clear out the left side. I barely dodged it. The next round's a bit unfortunate. I try to sneak in the smoke because I know they're going to be trying to work for mid-map control and the omen beat me into it. Doesn't matter though because my teammates dub up. I'm going to go mid with operator. I'm, I'm going to hold, I'm gonna hold for their, their fucking jump peek if they try and jump peek above, above this box. I'm trying to hold your towels here. If they dart it, I'll try to break it. So this round, Majid and I are contesting the middle of the map again, except this time we're doing it together. I hold one side so you can tunnel vision without worry on the other. Turns out they end up rushing towards A, so I'm going to quick rotate. Billions of times. If you want to, I can go wide and then you can peek after or some shit. Flash after? after I shot. Ooh, I yeah. that. I'm gonna shut a dodge the omen flash if it's here though. Something that's super common is omens flashing B main right here whenever they're trying to rush. So I'm sitting a little bit to the side just so I can dodge it in case they try to do that. The plan is though, let my jet take a shot and he dashes away and then I can flash and peek after that to bait him in. Okay. Get up mid, I'm marking. I end up whiffing terribly on that guy, and they end up pushing and following Trey towards market because we push him off of B main. A is on lock, so that's their only choice. But since we have B main control, we still have him in a pinch. Oh my god! I'm flashing out! One market and the guy planting. Holy fuck! And on the box, I think. On the box. Jump, jump up, lane. Another round where map control gets us the easy dub. For the next round, I'm banking on a B rush because they haven't really tried that yet. What do you say that? One tiles. So is here. Yeah, mud man. I'm gonna walk push B here. Running, man. Oh, min TP mid. Yeah. So right here, it sounds like they're in a default. That means they're trying to work the map again. It sounds like their omen is working the middle of the map while their sova is droning towards A main. Since these two lanes over here have the most going on, I push B main because it seems likely that there's only going to be one guy if any there. I'm pretty sure it's a weak point and it's a bit ballsy, but you gotta have big balls when playing duelist. For my current situation. Omen fell mid. He's in the bottom, bottom mid. He's on the ramp, on the ramp. Oh my god, two in this one. Going into the next round, since the last round I played aggressive and I was pushing up for info, this time I'm playing extremely passive. I've been really aggressive taking control of these neutral zones, so my impact is sure to be felt by now. They're tossing a lot of utility towards middle, so I cheat over to help out my clove. Oh, there are two there! Nice. He's A heaven, A heaven. B main. Clove is outside B main at the start. One mid. Me off on it. Nice. 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 This guy tossed a cage towards middle earlier, so the most immediate places he can be is through tree or through cat. No matter where he is though, I'm going to be prioritizing my life. We're in a 2v2, so there's no reason for me to force him 1v1 and leave my cypher in a bad spot. So we keep it simple and I sit in this corner holding the spike and I tell my cypher to peek off of me. Oh, nice. Off on cat, off on cat, off on cat, off on cat. For the next round, again, I'm playing passive. They're not having much luck with their slow play style just because we're countering it with proper map control. So I'm banking that they try something fast and desperate. If you want to sit in your cam. Wait, smoke for B? Flash, close B, they flash you. Oh, okay. Wait, only yeah. TP, it could be lost. Like oh, I think he's in the smoke. He's Watch out, Mark, he might kill you from behind. Oh. Look at you. Oh, he's still in the smoke. Oh my god, he's hiding in the corner. Your body, your body, your body. They're, they're gonna come up. Holy market. fucking shit. Cypher up mid too. There's one more B main though. Clove he's up, up. He's going in our spawn. He's in our spawn. Double mark as well. Ow. Ow. So many, man. The round blows down to a 1v3, and unfortunately, we take the L. So, going to the next round, I want to try out a new pistol buy. Wait, this classic yeah. buy is not that bad. I'm gonna try this. I might just fly up Cat here as Phonix. You mean a smoke med? Yeah, 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 let's do it. 
I'm gonna go mid. As I'm making my way up cat, I end up getting backshotted through smoke and it completely ruins my life. So we end up taking an L to start off the second half. So going into the thirsty round, at the very end, I end up going with a marshal. The other half, these guys loved mid. So I'm gonna continue establishing my dominance. After that opening pick, I keep it patient. There's a good chance that these guys might get desperate just to try to protect the gun. So I'm just holding for any sort of overswing. That's the B guy. You the shit, it's time to get a oh, man. Wait. Clear. I'm pretty sure that's the B guy. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna spin as well. Fun. What a round for me, dude. Gotta love the self glaze. I dropped a marshal that treated me so well, and I upgrade to a vandal. I'm one of my ultimate, so I plan on going towards A and entering with that. Clear. Dice clear. The only thing that's not clear is hell, and I'm not fucking giving up this fucking box for hell, so. If, or drones. He's shocking, top gen. My clove has a marshal, so I sit on top of his little box and wait for him to shoot once, then I can jump up and fight the guy who's heaven. Feels like everything's working for me right now and I like it. The next round I'm working mid, but I get absolutely sniped by a judge. Rewatching this right now makes me so unreasonably angry that I'm not even gonna bother breaking down this clip. On the bright side, my teammates dub up. For the next round, my teammates and I want to rush A, but we get absolutely shut down. Props to their omen, he had a really good round. It's like he siphoned my aura from that one judge snipe. And I'm gonna be honest, I hate him for it. The very next round, we run it back and we get obliterated yet again. Going to the next round, we're planning on taking it slow and working mid, but these guys are one step ahead of us. They're starting to adapt and counter very well. And for the very final round that we actually do win, I get sniped immediately and have zero impact on the round. Even though I did slow down towards the end, I'm not tripping about it. This is today's cover for a chance of free coaching.